are going to do a four card spread. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Just for you. Just for you. Let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. All right. David draws the first card. Oh. You're bickering. In the spring, you're bickering. Not really. It's reversed. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so you're not bickering. So <laughs> it's the five of ones reversed. Maybe so you're you were bicker bickering. Maybe you were bickering, but you're and finding. You were, as far as I remember, in December. Yeah. This is a peacekeeping card. This is a yes. But pe keeping peace um, with folks around you who can be petty. Right. Just petty, like, you know, actually like passive aggressive people right. who make these little comments, snide little comments. <laughs> it could be, and, but it's a wands card, so it could be also a creative project that you're working as a group, as a, mm -hmm. as a team on, right. and you finally uh, come together mm -hmm. on it. Right, and right, yeah, you, you're working together. Yes, you maybe. Um, you're cleaning. You're cleaning up together. You're cleaning up together. That's the. Mm -hmm. That's for spring. That's really good because you you need to come together as a team mm -hmm. because it's a very important feature of the year. Yeah, it's spring cleaning. It's yes, spring cleaning for the year. Let's see what happens in the ah, winter. King of Pentacles. Okay, so that's summer actually. That's summer. Yeah. So the king in in the in the summer the material um, aspects of life dealing well Maybe and even authority figures who are are um, like bankers bankers mm -hmm. people who have your material um, uh, best interests best interests at heart because it's in the upright so mm -hmm. they help you like financial planners financial planners mm -hmm. bankers mm -hmm. um, real estate agents right um, people who understand money yes so that could be and also practical high, high CEOs of companies are mm -hmm. often um, right but uh, people king of pentacles but they're practical people Practical. They deal so, on the material plane. So it could be either expressing that through yourself mm -hmm. or having people around you who help you. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because it's the team effort that's going on in the spring. Mm -hmm. So maybe you, what you're doing is you're bringing in somebody mm -hmm. into that team who actually does the, um, who's the back, who, who provides the backbone. Yeah, he's a backer. <clears throat> right. The backer. The backer, the backbone of the entire mm -hmm. pro project. Mm -hmm. Someone's backing you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, now we have <laughs> in the winter, we no, have no, the, the fall. Oh, I'm sorry, the fall. The pivot point, which is judgment, which is the liberation of um, your, well, it's, it's realizing something new. Okay, so it's kind of like this is a transformative time for you. You're going to become aware of some important um, concept or construct or um, way of thinking differently. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's going to rock like your epiphany. world. Yeah, it's an epiphany. Yeah. It's an epiphany. It's basically going to rock your world. And once I... you figure this out, it, it's going to change you. Um, in the fall, you're gonna go through a metamorphosis. It's kind of like we've said the shit, the snake shedding its skin and becoming new. Right. Um, so the next evolution. Oh, it's a, it, definitely the fall for you will be pivotal. Mm -hmm. It's a again, this is a major arcana card. So the fall is is extremely important time of the year for you. Mm -hmm. It's the time when you do feel a kind of metamorphosis take place within you. Yeah. So that you come out of the darkness of of, uh, or the confusion mm -hmm. uh, that you felt before that felt confining mm -hmm. and suddenly you're liberated mm -hmm. and you get um, there's an angel with a with a horn mm -hmm. um, like an announcement mm -hmm. like a like a heralding this is like a growing up period right here right like right. a going up and growing up right. and that could happen even when you're 80 right okay so oh Okay. The high priestess. For the winter. For the winter. Okay. Well, the high priestess is, is you know, secrets, the unknown, um, um, what's on the other side. It's kind of like the wizard. It's like the wizard when, you know, everyone it was in the Emerald City was like, wow, look at all this great magic. Where does it come from? Um, and behind the veil, there's this, this little guy who's making all this magic. 
Um, the high priestess, you know, she sits between the veil and um, really she is you. Yes. She represents the seeker and the seeker um, finds the magic within. Right. So, good job, Taurus. And we will see you. <laughs> we will see you again next year. And uh, that's January, but every every month we'll come back with uh, very interesting readings for you. So tell your friends and keep subscribing. And uh, we really appreciate your viewership. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.